Hello guys, we're talking about James Salen Sadiba, the nation's most celebrated star, James Diva. He made a statement recently about the quality of Liberian players. Look, talking about Liberian players and uh, not playing in Milan Euro football. They're talking about the, some of the big leagues in Europe, in the German top flight, in the Spanish top flight, in the French league, in the Italian league, in the English league. Uh, we do not have Liberian players playing at the level, right? Even Liberian players that were born in Europe, they are not really competing at that top level because it's a very, very strong football market that is very difficult to, to, to get into, uh, no matter you're born in Europe or you're born in Liberia, right? But if you go back to Liberian football, you, you, you need to understand uh, how can we improve the quality level of our players because we we are born with uh, ingredients that most countries players are lacking yeah most countries that players are lacking those ingredients that we are born with uh, number one ball possession uh, quality tactics on the ball individual confidence so there are a lot of possession uh, football qualities Liberian players are born with that you can find it in the European players but the European system has been able to design and develop their players uh, you talk about first first touch you talk about how to dribble most of the kids in Europe they don't know how to dribble with the ball so uh, and that one comes naturally to a, a kid born in Liberia he can dribble full five person with the ball easily the but james diva was talking about quality so if you look in the national team there are qualities in the national team but it's not developed to the highest level and then we go back to lfa we, go, we need to go back to the Liberian football association and look at the last 10 years okay so we we'll say we we'll go back to 2012 right and say how many players been exported from the Liberian League. We're talking about players born in Liberia now. Uh, how many of them were exported from the Liberian League over the last 10 years? And those players that came to Europe, the level they came to, they succeeded, they made progress, or they went back to the Liberian League or they failed to make progress. We need to study. So if you take uh, into consideration a player like Oscar Dolly, amazing player, came from the Liberian League, went to Czech Republic, he had to develop, right? Had to develop, spend more time, have to uh, play a more competitive, organized nice football. Uh, he's coming from 11 against 11 uh, football. He's coming to small side game, coming to a tight space game, higher decision making. He's coming to a place that when you play yesterday, before you play a game today, they got to analyze the videos. Uh, he have to watch his position. Now he's talking about when to eat, when to sleep. He, he's learning new things, right? Because he's so exceptional, he was able to make progress faster. He was having, what's it, what's going second He was able to make progress faster, right? So, since James Diva has been able to identify a problem, quality the quality is there but it's still low we can make it up who responsibility now is to help develop those qualities we need to look at our players the teams they are going to the agents are bringing in players right let's let's look go back to the fa again and ask the fa there are a whole lot of people with intermediary certificate from the librarian football association over the last four years let's look at liberia transfer record how many players live in Liberia in the Liberian League? And why our players and uh, he did not he he did not left Liberia to check. Yeah, if he the Oscar never went from Liberia, he went to Lot I know Lithuania and water, Bay Country. But then he, he moved to, to uh Bye bye. Please close this door, okay? Are you playing on Odihem fee? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
damn my remember finna can what doing a warm up you know begin our time so someone I think a TV yeah I still remember that era of massive world of fan up yeah I think two years old during the war too yeah but James D back whole situation you know I was little someone was talking to me and I get confused when I'm doing something so interrupt me you know yeah okay <clears throat> Let's let us let us go back to the whole beginning of this conversation, right? James D are talking about the quality of the players. Looking at the national team progress, okay? Okay, very good. So the way in which we develop our players in Liberia over the years, the national team been heavily dependent on players that left the local league that moved to Europe. Right? And at one age, our players are being exported. Europe. Uh, most of the players that come, they don't come with an age that you can develop. Oscar was blessed to come with age he could be developed. Uh, David Twer came with age that he could be developed. Our David Twer, uh, he left from Belarus and had to make time in Israeli league because he developed in Belarus. He, okay, so it would take time for the guys that are there now for their quality to get stronger and better. I always disagree with people that Liberia do not have quality players. I always disagree with people. I always stand with the point that Liberia likes high profile players, but not quality. Not quality. Because when Liberia play country like Ghana, when Liberia play country like Nigeria, the only difference you will find between the two teams will be energy level and little bit of possession. Because when your energy is dropping, you can maintain possessions, right? Because most of the players are from higher profile leagues. But our players are not from higher profile leagues. Now, it will take time for them to work their way there because they come with no good football education. No good football education from Liberia. Let's be real now. The football education in Liberia is not solid. In Liberia, for the last 10, 15 years, they've still been playing 11 against 11 in training section. 11 against 11 in training section. When you bring a player from 11 against 11 to 4 against 5, 4 against 4, 3 against 3, it takes him like one year to adjust. One year. And before he can adjust, somebody playing in front of him. At the end of the day, he will not get enough playing time. So we miss the development level with the players, with our player. We miss that development level. We don't put enough ingredients. The next thing we need to do, the Librarian FA, it is upon the FA now, the Librarian FA, to look at 10 years ago and say how many players Liberia exported, the level they went to, and why they never make they never made those levels, and how many percentage of them made progress. So we can study it and go back to the clubs, right? Because football development is a long, it's a cycle. We keep, the FA gets information, goes back to the club. They, they talk with the clubs and uh, they go back to the development board of the FA. They design more programs, they have more workshops with the coaches. They point out some of the errors in the league, in the errors in the training. These coaches then to, uh, take those information, wrap it into their training programs. It's all about the circle. This is the reason why Liberia we do not have high profile players because one. Football is a business, right? And football is a business. I agree, football is a business. So, if I would take a player from Club B and recommend him to a team in Portugal, they see that player as a product. We will pay money for him. Then he comes, we work on him, and then we sell him. We make profit. You make profit. So football is business. Now, Liberian players, they are born with the best ingredients. They can dribble self-confidence, uh, good control, nice touch, everything. But now they need to uh, be processed into uh, a solid product. Now we talk about the player cannot play in small side game. The player don't understand professional life. The player do not know about contract. The, 
So a lot of things are lacking, but we can play football. The quality is there. The, 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 you, can, you can play football. The touches is there. But we do not have the necessary information to develop our players' quality into better qualities. Then the players spend eight years in a Liberian league. Maybe he's 24, he's 25, and you bring him 22. You bring him to Europe. He's of no value. Not that he cannot play, but he do not understand teamwork. So at the end of the day, that player do not succeed. Or that player will play in the Romanian second league. Uh, that player is playing in Cyprus third league. Uh, that player is playing in Switzerland fourth league. Then he's 22. He tried to work his way up the ladder. The man end, end up in Kosovo. He ended up in Albania. He tried to work his way up the ladder. Before he can get to a maybe average European level, he's already 28, 29. No team got interest in him again. The agents are looking for the next hot kick. Now the guy in, in Ghana, they are looking at, okay, we are preparing this player for the Portuguese league. What kind of style of plays in the Portuguese league let her work with that player? You do, remember that Ghana player, that Liverpool almost Mosan, that picking, you know, played for under Dream FC, uh, just forgetting his name. The Ghanaian people had to prepare him. Prepare him. There's a reason why the Ghanaian clubs, they got agents and that agent work with different leagues. So that agent know what the 